Good evening, afternoon, morning, night, noon, whatever it is for you guys. This is time for some Blood Bowl. I'm Gamba, as per usual, and uh, today we got a little bit of uh, Division 1 Bretts vs. Lizardmen. <coughs> Thought this would be interesting. I don't think I've really covered the coach uh, Stefan, I believe it is. Stefan? Sorry. Um... He's got a very interesting Bretonian team, and it'll be kind of fun to look over it all. Sorry if I cough a little bit, guys. I think I'm starting to get sick again. Uh, for some reason, I am perpetually dying, and I apologize. So, we got some awesome lizards. Some awesome brets. And uh, hopefully a whole lot of carnage coming up. Looks like we got a beer stand on the uh, in play. Which will be uh, super fun for some surfing. Hopefully, we can we can see that. Uh, and I'm just generally excited to see what happens. I mean, good time. Sorry, I don't have any friends tonight. It's been a hard time getting uh, my schedule lined up with a lot of the other blood bowlers. So, how are you guys doing? Doing well? You tried the new uh, Kiwi Red Bull. It's pretty uh, flavor tastic. Oh, all right. So we got four re rolls <coughs> and an apothecary. Three re rolls and apothecary for lizards. Got pauses right here. Bam! Let's take a quick look. Dodge block. Okay. We got some side step diving tackle. Super awesome. Dodge. Uh, diving tackle. Bone stock. Some mighty blow and block. Hopefully that helps get some good kills going on. We got some side step. Ooh, a little bit of block sidestep action. Pretty awesome. Uh, break tackle and block. As you've seen in the last couple of videos we've watched with Horny Cricket <coughs> from last season, break tackle did not help him out very much. We got some block. We got some block. And uh, garden block. Oh, ooh, block on him. That's, uh, that's the dream right there. Um, pretty good team all around. Good SPP spread all around. Got one fresh skink about to level up, so that's not bad. Let's jump over to some uh, some Brett action. We got uh, some Rassle with Mighty Blow. We got uh, less movement, but it looks like we've turned him into our thrower with uh, with pass accurate and uh, that sure hand. So he's he's obviously our ball carrier and thrower. Mighty Blow and Dauntless, pretty pretty basic blitzer with some uh, mighty blow we got a uh, dodge block wrestle c uh, combinations really interesting and that's what I'm saying a lot of his things he's got a pretty interesting gives him the uh, oh it's not wrestle sorry it's fend uh, so we got a uh, fend sure hands a lot of sure hands we got some strip ball pass block and then we got just the wrestler all right, on the line we got some fend, some fend. I am really surprised he has not been fouled out of play yet. Strength four, uh, lineman with fend. We got some wrestle, and then we got some fend and block. So also, very well level team, good SPP spread. One injury, but I can kind of see where he keeps him. He's a thrower; he doesn't need all the movement. Uh, no reserves on either side. So, let's see how this goes. <coughs> I'm really surprised we uh, do not see any reserves on the uh, the Brett side since uh, peasants are so cheap. I'm surprised he wouldn't have just an extra one for fouling. But, you know... He's doing pretty well this season, so what am I to talk about? Alright. Lizard men getting an extra reroll. Good times for them. Uh, Force of the touchback, though. That kind of sucks for them. Interesting start. Definitely avoiding the Crocs. Looks like the only block he will be able to get this turn is his blitz, which sucks, but, you know, playing it smart. All 
All right. Well, it's clear uh, what side he's going to. Ooh. Risking it for a biscuit. Oh, I'm setting up a nice little screen. Alright, did a good job of trying to not give away too many blocks. What a good Crocs getting in position. I mean, it won't be uncommon for him to get out bashed. Ooh, and it's just a stun. And yeah, it's not going to be uncommon for him to get out bashed by lizard men, especially since all of them have block on uh, the sources. The question is, is he going to go for the uh, the commonplace tactic of squish the skinks and hide from the source? Oh, Fen doing a thing, <coughs> getting a really good. Uh, Really good position on the uh, the ball spread for him. In a really shitty spot though right now. Definitely not where you want to be. Oh. Going to uh, punch some sauruses. Interesting choice. If he's doing what I think he's doing and it works out, it will definitely be epic. The old make him run to one side, pick the ball up, and go to the opposite side trick. One of my uh, one of my favorite moves. Looking to see, yep. Yeah, setting up a screen. Smart move. Unfortunately, I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold that position uh, to stall out. Since, uh, ooh. Nice roll. Yeah! Quad skulls! Who doesn't like a good quad skull? Well, that will definitely help in his favor. Especially now that he's got a couple skinks that he's going to get some free blocks on. Ah, uh, no tackle. Wah, wah. Oh, once again, no tackle. Unfortunate. But this definitely sets you up for uh, Smash the Skink game. Trying to protect, uh, looks like, one of his knights. Ooh. <coughs> Which I'm not sure if it's a smart move yet, because he's kind of set up to where he can get gank fouled. Ooh, he is not getting good rolls. That sucks. Two and a one. Well, that's definitely going to go a long way in helping him stall out, especially since he can... Oh, that's surprising. I thought he could probably get one or two more turns out of playing Let's Punch the Skinks, but, you know, sometimes it's better to play safe than sorry and be like, hey, I got the touchdown. I'm here to win. I want to go to the Super Bowl. I totally understand that as well. A viable strategy.
Um, unfortunately, now the lizards are going to have that uh, let's punch you in the face strat advantage. And plenty of turns to score for lizards. Plenty of turns to score for dwarves, actually. Uh, this many turns, it's not unreasonable for almost any team to score. I'm wondering if he's going to pull back these two blockers since they're a little on the close side. The answer is no. Let's see if he gets made to suffer by it. So some bad rolls really hurt uh, our Lizardmen, but uh, I don't think that it was quite capitalized on as much as it uh, as much as it could have been. Ooh, that's a really nasty pitch invasion. That is that is definitely going to lead to a touchdown. He's got pretty much no one left standing. Interesting. Thought I was going to see the blitz there. All right, we get the blitz on uh, on the wrestler, which is an inter interesting choice since he has a uh, wrestle. Ooh, worked out good for him though, and no long-term effects. So they have now taken the the strength advantage. Oh, are we going to see the reroll? Yep. Definitely worth it. Time is of the essence. Getting pushed up that field and getting that in touchdown position. Really surprised we didn't see more uh, more pressure on that strength four lineman. Also surprised no one's put a hit on the strength four lineman. Because once he gets blocked, oh boy, he will be scary. I mean, definitely not my first choice of where I would want my strength four to go, but still having it is is definitely nice. All right, pull him back, being smart. Not really much you can do though when you only really got three players standing. Alright, in good position. Surprised we're not being a little more aggressive. It's setting up so we have a little more uh, more blocks on the next turn. There we go. There we go, yep. Making sure he can't dodge out and keeps him safe. Ooh. And another one bites the dust. Hope he's getting him up. Smart move going after some skinks. Unfortunately, no injury. Ooh! And a failed GFI. <coughs> Let's see if this reroll saves it. And it does. I mean, you got plenty of rerolls, and at this point in time, you can't use them. You can't use them all if you wanted to. You might as well make the effort. Oh, 
And looks like someone's gonna get surfed. Yep. Bye bye. And no injury on the play. Good for him. My man's taking a beating, but no injuries, so hopefully they come back for him, otherwise it's gonna put him in a pickle. Luckily, it is not past the second half yet, so he's going to have two chances to get um, these players back. I'm surprised we haven't seen a foul yet. He's built a pretty good player, uh, player up lead and strength. And there goes another lineman. That bench is looking pretty rough. And that dodge piece has unfortunately been removed. Well, you get a little block, a little, little shove a dove dove. <coughs> taking a risky dodge, taking a reroll, going for the chance. And no dice. Alright, well that looks like it's going to tie things up. For the first half, leaving our, uh, our Bretonians in a little bit of a little bit of pickle if he doesn't get some of those players back. But unfortunately it looks like they're going to get a little more hurt before uh, they get a chance to recover. Ah, uh, that's right, it was his drive first, too, so he's only going to get the uh, the halftime when he scores on turn 8. Since there is absolutely no pressure for uh, them to score early. Let's see if we use the Apoth. That is surprising. I'm surprised by just how many players down he is that you would not roll the Apothecary just to make sure he got a player back. Especially since I think that was a retiring blow. We will check. Alright, he gets one back, but he scored a turn early, meaning that we have one turn left before halftime. Interesting decision. I'm really surprised. I guess really wanted to play it safe. Let's, uh... Take a look at that injury really quickly. Guess I will not be able to find out till next. Ooh, and stun. Those rolls are just not working out in his favor. And down he goes. Going for the reroll, because what the heck not. And down he goes again. Oh, and an injury. Oh, that's rough. I really want to know what the injury was. I thought it was a stat loss. He is he is in a pickle. I am really surprised we haven't seen the apothecary come out. He is down quite a few players. It is going to make it a beast of a game for him to have any chance of coming back and salvaging this one. And another KO. 
This is looking like we might have a <coughs> my first tabling scene uh, recorded on this uh, YouTube channel. Oh, there goes the uh, the vanity pass. It's successful, and that brings us to halftime. He is going to need quite some of his players to get back up and get back in the game to stand a chance of not even not even to stand a chance to just not get tabled. He is he is in a rough spot right now. Four injured and uh, one knocked out, so we got two coming back. That is still five players down. He is definitely spread thin. He's going to have to put people that he does not want to put on the line. And the only thing I can think to do is try to score early. Hope to get back uh, your other blitzer to give you a chance to stay alive on defense because you're not going to be able to outblock them since you uh, have about as many players as they have uh, Crocs slash Sauruses. <coughs> it is a uh, a sticky situation. You know, oh, that's right, he doesn't even get it. He scored first. He was the first one to get it. This is going to be a really rough defense. Um, the Lizardmen could play uh, real safe and just try to table him and hang back and wait to score. Alright, off to a pretty good start so far. Everyone's uh everyone's pretty much on the floor. And that Crocs is just doing work, man. No boneheads and another KO. <sighs> I hate to say it, but it is almost in the bag right here. Um I, I can't possibly see how, uh, without some real shenanigans, the Bretonian team pulling it out of their butts and uh, forcing a turnover for a score, even being able to put enough pressure on the ball to uh, to make them want to score so they can get the kickoff back. Smart use of the blitz right there to push and to uh, give another assist. Getting close to Surf City, can't really afford to lose another player. And that lizard's probably just gonna sit there and babysit him until uh until he attempts to make that dodge. Ooh. <coughs> nope. Baby seven showing the difference. Another player sitting on the bench. Alright, after a couple turns, Skinks finally secured the ball. The unbreakable Skink cage has been formed. Nope, the unbreakable Skink screen has been formed. And the Brent team is taking some one die blocks. And another KO. Oh man, he is in rough position. There is not much he can do. I'm expecting uh, one up here, one down here, one up here, and then a blitz to put him in a surf position. And then everyone else is to pretty much sit where they are and... Uh, 
can either keep going for a ta uh, some smacking or set up for some fouling to remove the rest of the pieces. Yep. Ooh, risky move. Oh, he didn't put the pressure on him. Oh, and he went for the dodge. Alright, yeah, all he has to do is stall and chooses not to. Interesting move. I'm wondering if he thinks he might be able to just keep racking up the touchdowns and uh, farm SPP on these guys. <coughs> Because for no other reason, I mean, I would have personally sat at the line and stalled because I don't think he would have been able to get up and do anything. And then secured the win. And also been able to farm some experience on my sources if I got some bash. And alright, we got uh, most of our players back too. And a chance to score. So it is 2-1 right now. Lizards are in a good place pretty much, I think... Yeah, having a full team on their side. Brent's floating at uh, six, so uh, <coughs> a little more than half. The only way they could get half is if we cut one of their players in half. So we'll say about half. And very sunny is not gonna help them get a. Uh, get a quick score, making it harder to pass. Alright, we do have the accurate player on uh, the pitch, and that is going to hurt. <coughs> I can already see what, uh, what he thinks he's going to try to do, and I don't know if it's going to work, but try to get the ball to the accurate thrower, ooh, which is really not going to work now, and try to get one of those blitzers into the end, end zone and get a quick, uh, get a quick throw off to try to tie this game up, and he is going to need some definite love from Nuffle to get this going with this, this situation he is in. Oh, and he was able to pull it off. You got a little bit of love. Let's see if he keep, this love keeps carrying on. All right, freeing up one of the linemen. Take the reroll, see if we can knock him down. <coughs> and that was definitely a good turn so far for the Bretts. Ball catcher safe. Was able to knock everyone down. Blitzer was in good position. I mean, all I can say for uh, Coach Stefan is he's definitely trying. He's definitely putting out a good game and making making his best effort. He's in really shitty position, in part of my French, but he is really making a good go at it. And. Uh, with a couple good, let's say, blocks and dodge rolls, he may be able to set something up. Oh. Ooh, failed the GFI. Down to one reroll. Oh. And 
failed another one. And a real good spot to make a dodge and go. Getting two GFIs to try to get out of danger. <coughs> uh oh. We're gonna see the reroll. He's trying to make the pass as easy as possible. It makes a lot of sense, especially with uh, really sunny. And he's got it. Marking him as best he can. Gonna see uh, him try to knock him down. It's successful, and then I think we're gonna see the blitz with the Saurus. Still got one reroll left. Oh, he's got dodge, no tackle. And with Fend actually worked out pretty well. Never really used Fend as much, but it's it's seeming to play in his favor, especially uh, forcing the extra movement on players that don't really have a whole lot. Getting those extra blocks in. Lizard's definitely dominating on the hits in this game. And uh, playing a smart move, trying to set up the uh, the chain handoff for if they can get that uh, turnover and maybe get one more uh, one more point on the board. But it's close, man. With a bit of luck, oh, and knocks him down. He's already used dodge. Oh, he's gonna have to use a reroll. This is nerve wrecking. Oh, he gets it. And he ties it up. <coughs> Beautiful play. Definitely took a lot of luck. I mean, Nuffle smiled upon him on that, but I, I'd have to say it's kind of fair since he has really been thrown kind of crap for uh, the injury rules. I mean, you can tell just by looking at the, uh, the knockout bin. It is all tied up, and uh, he's got one turn to go. See if he can see if he's gonna go for the one turn touchdown. I don't think he's got any players with extra movement, so he's gonna have to set it up for uh, the old push him forward and try to get some GFIs. <coughs> it doesn't look like he's got the setup for it. And the weather is now nice. All right, that's the last of it. No more rerolls. He's got to hope for a good push or a good pickup. Alright, he's setting up for it. Well, doesn't look like we're going to be getting the uh, the one turn touchdown. Went for the vanity pass and uh, no dice. All right. Here comes the second vanity pass. And a little bit of SPP, and that's the game. Well, that was kind of exciting. I mean, uh, if we look at it...
even though it was a draw, Cold Bloods definitely was the winner in getting SPP. Um, they definitely dominated the blocking game, got a lot of really good injuries, but Coach Stefan really handled it well, uh, and with a little bit of luck was able to tie it up. Now granted, <coughs> in my opinion, this could have been stopped if uh, both teams would have stalled a little more. Um, Coach Stefan had the opportunity in the first drive to kind of hold out and try to beat up some of the skinks, which really could have helped in the second half for him, uh, bringing down some of the numbers. And uh, the Cold Bloods coach as well could have just sat there until turn 16 and won a 2 1 and maybe even gotten some more SPP just for tabling the team. Uh, that being said, it's still early in the season, so I know people are still trying to grind up SPP. Uh, that's my opinions and thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. You can put it in the comments below. Um, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys uh, on the flippity-flop. Farewell.